Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic that is priority sector lending. Students, priority sector lending is an important topic, very important for IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3. And today we are going to do the latest MCQs, latest jo questions hai, including the amendments, latest exchange hai, circular hai, priority sector lending pe, kami circular aate hai. We are going to discuss that. So my name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exams today from a long time now. This is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. Okay. So IBBS RRB scale 2 scale 3 course is available on bank exams today.com. The link is available in the description. You can check. Okay. So let's start the session with the table. So whenever you start your preparation for the priority sector learning, I always tell you that you should table your table. What is priority sector learning? Banks are not interesting, uh, interested in lending money to agriculture, to micro enterprises, to weaker section. They are more interested in giving loans to the corporates because, uh, you know, they are big loans and it's easy to lend money. They are easy to recover, but they are not interested in the uh, these sections, right? That is why the RBA came up with the priority, priority sector lending guideline for domestic commercial banks and foreign banks with more than 20 branches in India. 40% of their A and B C uh, of their credit should be for priority sector. Okay, 40% of A and B C or C E O B E, whichever is higher, right? For agriculture, the target is 18%, right? Uh, out of which, out of which, see this 18% is of, uh, let's say the hundred is a credit uh, of A and B C. Is ka 18%? Yeh 40 ka 18% nahi hai, right? So for foreign banks with less than 20 branches, it's again 40%, 32% can be in, uh, in form of lending to exports and not less than 8% to any other priority sector. For RRB, the target is 75%. For small finance bank, the target is 75%. I hope you're already aware of it. Very common question in the exam. For agriculture, the target is 18%. Out of which the 10% should be for small and marginal farmers. The same goes for the uh, RRBs and small finance banks. For micro enterprises, 7.5% of the A and B C or uh, or C O B E, whichever is higher. Uh, the same goes for the regional rural banks and the small finance bank. And advances to weaker section. Yes, sabka definition hai proper. There are separate uh, you know uh, sections in the priority sector learning. The definition of weaker sections. Micro enterprises, MSME ki definition hai, uh, even some small and marginal farmers, inka proper definition hai. Go through the in-depth class for priority sector lending, jom kar chuke. So for domestic uh, commercial banks, 12% target is for the advances to weaker section. Uh, while it is 15% for RRBs and 12% for the small uh, finance bank, very important. Please remember that. Adjustments for weight, this is an update. Ye ek update hai hai. Updates are always important. See students, some of the districts were getting a lot of uh, priority sector lending PSL credit. Bahut saada PSL credit mil raha tha, while some districts were not getting it at all. So you can see the targets. They are countrywide target. So some districts, some states were getting a lot of priority sector loans, but some were not getting it at all. That is why RVA gave weightage. So higher weightage for un, uh, dis, uh, underserved districts and lower weightage for developed districts. Okay. So a higher weightage of 125% uh, is assigned uh, to, to the district where per capita PSL credit is less than 9,000 rupees. This limit has been changed recently. For the developed district, uh, a lower weightage of 90% is assigned to in incremental PSL credit where per capita PSL is more than 42,000. It used to be like 25,000, but now it is 42,000. If you have per capita se zyada PSL credit, diya hua, then weightage is 90%. If you have more than 9,000, then it is 125%. So please remember that it, it's a latest update. Uh, this particular section is very important for you. So what is the total priority sector lending target for domestic commercial banks and foreign banks with 20 branches and above? It's 40% of ANBC or COBE, whichever is higher. And which category of bank has a priority sector lending target of 75% in 
it's RRBs and small finance banks. Okay, small finance bank hai, that is why RRB is the answer. Under priority sector lending, what is the specific target uh, for lending to small and marginal farmers with the agriculture sector for domestic commercial banks? It is 10%. Uh, so 10%. Agriculture ko thara dena but out of which small and marginal farmers ko 10%, right? Under priority sector lending, which type of banks are not required to meet the agriculture sector target? Foreign branches with less than 20 branches, they can, you know, I mean, they, they don't need to meet the agriculture sector ka target requirement. Under the PSL, what is the target for advances to weaker section? It is 15% of ANBC for RRBs. We are asking about RRBs. For foreign banks with less than 20 branches, how much of the priority sector lending target can be in form of lending to exports? It's 32 percent. Latest question, very important question. But this person exports. Ko de sakte hai. Under priority sector lending, what is the minimum percentage of adjusted net bank credit ANBC or credit equivalent of off balance sheet exposure? that must be allocated to agriculture for regional rural bank it's same 18 percent for all the banks except the foreign banks with less than 20 branches under priority sector lending what is the minimum target for advances to weaker section for the domestic commercial banks with 20 or more branches for the foreign banks uh, with 20 or more branches and domestic banks it's 12 percent 12 percent weaker section ko dena hoga as of uh, financial year 24-25, what weight is assigned to incremental priority sector credit in districts with per capita PSL less than 9,000, 125%. If the balance is more than 90%. Okay, if the per capita priority sector lending is more than 42,000, then a weightage of 90% would be given towards the calculation of the priority sector lending target. Under priority sector lending, what is the maximum loan limit against warehouse receipt other than negotiable warehouse receipt and electronic negotiable warehouse receipt? Warehouse receipt ke against kitna loan le sakte hai? 50 lakh rupees. But if that particular receipt is an electronic negotiable uh, warehouse receipt uh, then 75 lakh rupee loan can be taken and that would be considered as priority sector lending loan okay i hope you like the today's question i hope you liked the today's question that i shared lage honge, and you are going to see similar questions in your exam you can get lot more questions in our ibps rrb scale 2 and scale 3 course proper capsule is already available proper test series is already available uh, you can cover the entire syllabus on bankexamstudy.com within a month uh, and one month course is also available link to join the course is available in the description and list of our successful students in the 2024 2023 exams of scale to scale three level all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams and i'm really really happy for them and you can be one of them in the future and you will be one of them in the future and that's all for today students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.